الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولو العمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abdukul aji sudaifu miskeen zalim ujjahal but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and alhamdulillah Allah granted for us to follow these ways of Marifa, this way of divinely guidance, whom Allah guides is rightly guided and whom Allah doesn't guide is not guided. So it's an immense gift from Allah and this love for Sayyidina Muhammad is the greatest gift that Allah grant this ishq and this yearning within the heart to move towards His Divinely realities and the secret of the heart, the secret of the Divinely heart that in this holy month these are the three holy months that we are drawing near into the Divinely heart. That Rajab Allah a secret wanting to be known and what we call the Divine heart. So there's the immense secret of Rajab in which Allah claims that this month is my month, every month is Allah's month but there's a special gift drawing your attention that don't let Raja pass as if it was just any other time. Allah put His name to the month to draw our attention that I reward you in that month fast, pray, give, do every goodness and increase your ibadah because there's an immense reality. Then comes the holy month of Shabban in which the manifestation that Allah wanting to be known begins to get known through the reality and the opening of Muhammadun Rasulullah where Prophet described, I am from Allah and creation is from me, from my light. I am from the light of Allah and creation is from my light. Means that Allah wanting to be known that Divinely heart of Rajab. Then Prophet draws our attention that Shabban is my month. Now pay special attention to Shabban because there's a Muhammadan gift in that holy month coming to souls. And only Allah come to teach through that marifa that Allah is a hidden. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Treasure that La ilaha illallah are the dresses and secrets of Rajab but Allah wants to be known and Allah can only be known through creation. So there's no shariq, there's no partner with Allah we're not located in the same space with Allah So Allah creates an ocean of creation a light of creation in which every creation is in that light. And that light is called Muhammadun Rasulullah Say, oh but Shaykh I thought that was the form. No, the world of light comes before the world of form, right? The world of light is ancient. The world of form is a time, how, how many hundreds of millions of billions of years? That's not when Allah began creation, it's just a timed creation. So means pre-eternal is the Divinely reality. Wanting to be known is the world of light, malakut. 
and all of it is in one ocean because Allah is the power for the entire, entirety of the ocean, that is real tawheed, right? Because the kalima is, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah La ilaha illallah, there is no creation there. It specifically explains itself, there is nothing but Allah. But the kalima is not complete without Muhammadun Rasulullah then all creation will manifest from that reality. So Shabban, Shab al-Bara, the nights of forgiveness, spiritual new year has to do with the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah has an immense reality, an immense gift. And then Prophet draw our attention to the holy month of Ramadan and which is what? The Adamic light. That Prophet from the Divinely light and all creation is manifesting from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah from that one ocean Allah is bringing all creation and it's still within that one ocean, it's not outside of it, all within that ocean. Ramadan is then the Adamic heart where we receive the gifts of our existence. Where Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known and Isra'i wal Miraj is that Allah will be known to the physicality of Prophet that's why the Miraj is in Rajab. That come to know the reality of La ilaha illallah and your place and your reality as the reflection of that Divinely Presence known as Muhammadun Rasulullah and what Allah wants to give as a gift to the nation is in Ramadan that I want you to receive the dress of Rajab, I want you to receive the dress of Shabban from La ilaha illallah, I want you to receive that dress, the secrets of it. I want you to receive the secrets of Shabban and Muhammadun Rasulullah so Allah granted for us Ramadan in which the only way to achieve those realities was Siyam. Because we have no fast, we have no ibadah that we can do, no prayers that we can do, no donation that we can give, no hajj that we can go to that would give us this reward. Allah then gave an immense blessing that fast Ramadan and the gift comes directly from my Divinely Presence again with no intercessor that you're fasting for me and only Allah come to explain from the heart of Prophet we're fasting to receive those gifts. What came in Rajab and the lights and the Divinely favours that Allah is dressing every Ramadan is a dress that we're receiving from Rajab. Every Rajab Allah expanding the oceans of reality upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why they describe it's like a seed being planted. Shabban comes, is the watering and now the seed beginning to be known. Because Allah plants the desire in Rajab, I want to be known, I'm a hidden treasure, Shabban is now the, the seedling is showing itself, all creation will be known by that reality. It will begin to manifest and Ramadan is the gift for creation that you'll come to know your reality, the gifts and the dress upon your soul and the only way that you can achieve it is by fasting. And this is the immense gift of Ramadan that as soon as we enter into Siyam Allah is dressing, dressing all the blessings, all the immense lights, all the immense realities and even gave such a gift that what I gave to Prophet on the mirage of Rajab, 
I'm going to dress his nation from that secret on the Laylatul Qadr of Ramadan. Why Laylatul Qadr has so much power? Because it's the gift of the Miraj in which Prophet and whatever Prophet receives from Allah he wants for his nation. That was always the character, Ummati, Ummati. So he's asking Allah Ya Rabbi what you're granting me that I'm always in an eternal mirage into your Divinely Presence and Allah is eternally expanding that reality, creation is eternally expanding and Prophet is eternally moving into that reality. So there's a mirage at every second and microsecond. As this entire created universe expands, the reality of Prophet is moving to understand it and enter into it. And every Laylat Qadr is the dress from that ocean. That your nation, that you want them to be dressed by these realities of Qawbu Qawsaini wa Adana. But they're not capable of through their worshipness to achieve these, they don't worship like that. A grant for your nation Ramadan, that they enter into 30 days of fasting and as soon as they begin to fast the gift is coming from Allah's Divinely Presence. Again no intercessor, no angel, no one knows what Allah is bestowing and whom Allah guides to these haqqaiqs and these realities. As soon as they know their soul is asking. Ya Rabbi whatever you're going to grant for Ramadan, alhamdulillah, but Ya Rabbi grant us from these realities of Muhammadun Rasulullah Grant us from what you're granting on Isra'i wal Miraj that as Prophet is going to be again being dressed on this 27th of Isra'i wal Miraj that grant for us a continuous Miraj because as Prophet is entering into the realities approaching La ilaha illallah, then his nation with ishq and muhabbat their miraj is into Muhammadun Rasulullah If they don't keep teaching the adab and you think that you're going into La ilaha illallah and moving towards Allah what happened? Your mind and your ego thinks no more of Prophet I'm now like that, I'm going. So they have to keep teaching the adab, that know your place and stand at it. Your place is not there. That's why they say, oh, why do you teach these high level haqqaiqs? Because knowledge has power and the knowledge sets you free. It's not an empty knowledge, how many times you want to teach wudu. But these knowledges of haqqaiq they have a power upon the soul. They show the immensity that you are never going to be near La ilaha illallah, you're in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why Allah made our salah with an imam. He could have made us a nation with no imam. That prayer time come, everybody make your own lines and pray. Why Imam, Imamiya? Why? Because it's a reminder of the or our ultimate Imam is Sayyidina Muhammad And when you're in the jama'ah because it's wajib to seek out a jama'ah, to pray your prayers in congregation, why? Everything is a learning, it's not just it's there. So when you ask people, why is it jama'ah? Why you have to pray in jama'ah? There was a hikmah. Why is the reward multiplied in jama'ah? Because Allah wants you to seek the hikmah. The hikmah of jama'ah is that when you're in jama'ah, what you do it doesn't even matter. For those who like sharia, they talk about sharia. The haqqaiq of the sharia is that it's the imam's prayer that counts. Nobody goes with the speaker to say, what exactly did you recite? You're supposed to recite silently as he's reciting to yourself khafi 
But Allah is not looking to the congregation. The law of the congregation, it rests upon the Imam. And that's why Prophet described, elect a good Imam because he's going to be representing you in the salah. If you elect a corrupted one to pray, he takes the whole jama'ah into that corruption. So it was stressing the importance, it's not about you. Don't put any importance on yourself, it's about the prayer of that Imam. And then elect the best one, cleanest one, the one whom has khushia and sincerity because he's about to represent you in Allah's presence. So that to show us we're in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah that since salah all our religion is based on salah. Once you understood the salah then you understand you're in an ocean like a congregation. And who Allah is looking to in that ocean is the ultimate Imam, the Khalifa. Allah is looking to Muhammadun Rasulullah and He's the one that's praying to Allah and all creation exists within that reality. Just like in this room Allah is not going to each person, what you said, well, your recitation was not correct. Otherwise they would have made referees in Islam. They would come up and down the aisle and say, oh Akhi what are you saying? They try to do it before the prayer begins, move your foot here, move your foot there. No. You're taught they'd recite and different madhab after they recite Fatiha, Imam Shafi said that he should wait and then the jama should recite Fatiha silently to themselves. Hanafi doesn't have that. But the congregation is showing and the, the usul of the congregation has an immense haqqaiq. So that you understand in the ultimate congregation, in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad you're nobody to be looked at. Allah is looking to Prophet So it means awliya come in our lives and say, know who you are, know your limit and stand by it. Don't let shaitan come to you, think you're something special and that you and Allah, you've got some sort of a deal going and it's La ilaha illallah and you. But to know your place by its haqqaiq and its reality that is La ilaha illallah and Muhammadun Rasulullah So you pick your imam according to the sunnah because he is the Muhammadan representative, right? So he has to be the one with the longest beard, the most in sunnah because he's a Muhammadiyun traditionally, he's representing Muhammadun Rasulullah the member of Sayyidina Muhammad So means all of the usul is teaching us a much greater reality that in Divinely Presence if Allah has us praying like this on dunya, what do you think the prayer in heavens is like? Allah coming in saying, what are you reciting exactly? How, how, how's your qiraat? What, what, what are you doing? It's enough that you're standing and moving behind Sayyidina Muhammad and carrying entire universes in that salah. And as a result of that Allah made the salah for, for somebody who would have a doubt and maybe didn't understand the usul, He made it in the huruf of Nabi Ahmad Your salah standing is a alif. As soon as you go into ruku, it's ha. As soon as you go into sujood, it's meem. And tahiyyat is dal. You pray in the huruf of Ahmad <coughs> to remind the nation, because the Arabs know their huruf, why Allah, why Allah has us making these shapes of the huruf? To remind 
that oh, from the nation of Muhammad and Rasulullah وسلم, that your, your Imam is Muhammad and Rasulullah وسلم, you are within the ocean of Muhammad and Rasulullah As a result of that immensity they begin to understand the Ya Rabbi that we are from the ocean of Muhammad and Rasulullah and if we do it right and we have a ishq and we have a love and you surrender yourself, surrender your character, surrender the wildness in which He gave your Adamic reality, Layla anta subhanika inni kuntum min al-dhalimeen. What happens if you surrender yourself? You become Muhammadiyoon. Because the character of Prophet to dress you, the ishq and the love that you be with whom you love, his love dresses you, grants you from his character so much so that you become Muhammadiyoon, which Allah is pleased to look at you now. When they understood the haqqaiq, then they don't ever keep thinking that they're right in the presence of La ilaha illallah because it's tariq al-adab which those other people want. Because when they visit Medina they keep telling you, turn your back. Yeah, how can you turn my back? Allah going to smack both of us. There's never that reality. Allah La ilaha illallah it's Muhammad and Rasulullah and we're all behind. When they understood it, it's burned into the heart, it's their adab. Without the haqqaiq, people don't know the adab and then their brain keeps tricking them, it's you and Allah, you and Allah because this is shaitan's aqeedah, right? Shaitan didn't want any, anything from Adam and the descendants of Adam. He said, between me and Allah, nothing. Well, you see where that got him, got him thrown out. So it means the aqeedah for us, the true belief is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Ding dong. <laughs> when you know that, you stand by it. And in everything we do has its reality. And Allah describe, I'm closer to you than your jugular vein. We describe that hadith too and that uh, Quran, uh, Quranic ayah that Allah is, is giving that as an ayat of Quran is for a danger for them. I'm closer to you than your jugular vein, I'm going to hold you to account of that ayat al kareem that why you don't know me, I'm so close to you. And they will never know Allah until what? until they understand they are behind Muhammad and Rasulullah and they come with good adab, good manners, good love and then Prophet gave them, you be with whom you love. Who's the best to love? Prophet If he's with you, dressing you, blessing you, now you're close to La ilaha illallah because you're in the dress of Muhammadun Rasulullah At that time Allah you now understand how close you are to me. Otherwise that's a rope for someone's neck. For everything they did wrong and they keep quoting that ayat al kareem you don't need a guide, you don't need this, Allah closer to you, Allah this is going to be a rope for you. Because Allah is going to ask that servant, how you do all these things? And you were telling people, I'm closer to you than your jugular vein. Awliya come and say, Ya Rabbi, we are uh, ignorant people. We're just struggling to clean ourselves. But if you admit us into this ishq and this love, and Prophet dresses us, blesses us, cleans us, gives us the khuluq and the character that pleasing to Allah then with this Muhammadun dress 
you are now closest to the reality of La ilaha illallah. And that becomes the great gift and the great bounty. This ishq and this muhabbat is immense. And the good character comes from the love and the ishq of Prophet And it's not something we can accomplish. It's not through charity, it's not through hajj, make 20 hajj. It's not through all of the actions we do through our physicality. But this one vehicle in which Allah gave to us, says, clean it, purify it, make it my house. And who loved my house the most? Sayyidina Muhammad Means it's going to be filled with the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And then his light is hudan, comes as a guidance. His light comes as a warning. His light comes to perfect the character inside then out. Not outside. Outside perfected character are dangerous people. They look good evil inside. Right? <coughs> but this way based on inside out. Inside has to have an immense ishq, immense love. As a result of that love, the inside is filled with Muhammadun Rasulullah Where, where in hadith is this? This is in the hadith when Prophet was describing to Sayyidina Umar Farooq Ya Umar, you have to love me more than you love yourself, your father and your brother. This is called Iman. Iman. So how can anyone have Iman when they don't love Prophet more than they love themselves? That's the reality is that love has to be within us. That's what grants us faith. As a result, good character. If Prophet ﷺ is with you, shahidan, mubashiran wa nadheeran, Allah describes in Qur'an, Holy Qur'an, that Prophet's characteristics is that he's witnessing you, mubashiran, filling you with blessings and, and lights and emanation. And nadiran that guiding you and inspiring you from what you're doing wrong to do what is good. The immensity of that reality so that we draw near to Allah We pray that Allah dress us from these blessings, grant us from these lights to enter within our heart and that Prophet's nazar be upon us and that correct our, our wrongs perfect our lights and present us to Allah's Divinely Presence. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.